It was early in the morning, new homeowners Autumn and Shanna Kialoha peacefully waking up next to each other, excited to send their twin daughters, Aurora and Oasis Kialoha. After their first days of Montessori school, Aurora was venting to her older brother Sage Kialoha about how much she did not want to go to school. As he scarfed down his breakfast and listened to his little sister, Sage couldn't help but feel sorry for poor, anxious Aurora, but he tried to help her see the bright side. She can finally make friends and learn new skills. Oasis, on the other hand, was super excited to start school today, finishing her breakfast as quick as she could. Radical optimism Volkov and her son Jasper woke up right as the kids were leaving, and shortly after, Dexter Kibo was at her door, ready to take them to Solani for the day. The weather was perfect, and the beach Dexter picked for them to go to was quaint and quiet. He went ahead and put little Jasper down in his car seats, so he could safely admire his surroundings. He fell asleep shortly after, and since they had some alone time on their hands, Dexter asked running into traffic if she would like to build a sand castle with him. They hopped right to it, molding buckets of damp sand into tiny formations. This was such childish fun, but renewed vows enjoyed it nonetheless. She never had the opportunity to build sand castles when she was actually a child. There was so much she wanted to do today, but she was overwhelmed with it all, unsure of where to start, Dexter, are you mad because she's digging in the sand? Or are you mad because you can't do anything right now about her being bent over? Anyways, Rutin, Tutin decided that the first thing she would do today was go sailing. Dexter told her to go out and enjoy herself. He'll be right here watching the baby. As much as she hated being apart from her baby, she agreed to let go for a while. So she headed for the docks and picked out a boat to sail on. She truly was having fun, the view of the luscious greenery, the salty air against her skin, seeing the beautiful wildlife in the clear blue sea. She definitely wouldn't take this experience for granted. Dexter did a quick beach workout as he watched running up that he'll sail away on her boat. And that was right when Jasper woke up from his nap. He went ahead and helped him with his skills, like tummy time and learning how to walk. Though Jasper becoming a part of his life was unplanned and sudden, Dexter couldn't be happier to have his precious son to look after. He loved him, truly. He adored every inch of him and couldn't wait for the two of them to grow up together, father and son. Though it was devastating that Jasper had to be brought into the world in this way, behind his brother Zayden's back. And the worst part is that Zayden still doesn't know the truth. He had been avoiding him a lot lately, because Dexter knew that once he finds out, it's gonna place a permanent wedge between the two of them that they may never recover from. But he couldn't worry about that anymore. It was too late for that. Whatever happens next between he and Zayden will happen, for the best or for the worst, hopefully. He'll still have Shanna and Voldemar. But Dexter's train of thought was soon disrupted. Oh my god. Jasper had learned how to crawl. My first infant ever to learn how to crawl. Look at him go. Also, why did I put him in a one-piece swimsuit? Rise of the Planet of the Eeps could see what her son had accomplished all the way from her boat, swimming to her baby with quickness. He was crawling, she couldn't believe her baby learned to crawl. She gave him the biggest kiss ever, she was so proud of him. Not even her nieces or nephew had learned how to crawl. Excuse me, what disgusts you so much about my precious pixel child? Renovated home, went looking for Dexter, eager to share her excitement with him, finding him looking somber and in distress. She held his arm, asking what was wrong, and she was answered with a kiss. He knows they agreed to keep their hands off each other for a while, but he found it so incredibly difficult. He loves her entirely, and wants nothing more than to be with her and their son. Rotation, felt the same about Dexter. She does love him, and has for some time. And seeing their son hit yet another milestone made that so easy for her to realize. They wanted to be together. 
You're too busy making out to notice where your son is going, again, praying for this child. And with all of that lust and tension between the two of them, Red Robin Yum and Dexter were ready to head back to Evergreen Harbor and hopefully avoid creating a sibling for Jasper just yet. Once they got back, they immediately rushed for Raspberry Talenty's bedroom, Dexter quick to put Jasper to sleep. He was aching immensely from the long drive from Sulani and needed to be wickedly acquainted again with receding hairline now. Things started slow with the two of them just cuddling and talking on Raomi all night long's twin bed. But that certainly didn't last long. While that was going on upstairs, Autumn was outside building a treehouse for her kiddos. She loved the treehouse at the lodge in Granite Falls during the family vacation. The memories she had of talking to her mother Alexis while pregnant with the twins was something she would never forget. She hoped her children would cherish the memories they make in this treehouse as well. Oasis came outside, curious as to what her mama was doing, and offered to help. Oh. Yeah, Autumn totally forgot about the whole werewolf thing. What the hell was she going to do about that? And Sage, who is apparently blonde now, wanted to contribute to the project as well. Our Air Aurora, however, was enjoying her alone time in the house. She found herself something indoorsy to hyperfixate on, cinema. She found it all so intriguing. The filmography, the actors, the glitz and glamour of the screen, it excited her. She had a new goal, to watch at least one new movie a day after school. Soon after, she and her siblings went to bed and Dexter had left for the night, rocked the Casper Volkov and her son waking up for their long night together. Shanna was downstairs in her lair, making more potions of plentiful needs as she thought things over, realizing that at some point, she accidentally cursed herself. She reeked bad, and she didn't have any potions of curse cleansing, nor the ingredients for it. Rocking around the Christmas tree had put baby Jasper back to sleep after a feeding, and was waiting patiently in the kitchen for Shanna to come back upstairs. She wasn't allowed to go into her lair. No one was except Autumn, so she did some household chores in the meantime, and soon after, Shanna showed herself. She really needed to talk with her sister-in-law. Things seemed rocky between the two of them since Shanna learned the truth about Rocketeer and Dexter, so she had to ask. Did Shanna hate her? Shanna knew this conversation was coming, and she had already thought out what she was going to say. No, Shanna said she did not hate reduce, reuse, recycle, but she hated what she did and wished she'd never done it. Shanna wishes that Ryan Gosling would have broken up with Zayden first before getting involved with Dexter. It would have been the best case scenario for all parties. However, Shanna grew up with Zayden and has known him since he was born. She knows what he like, how he can belittle your feelings, how angry he can get, how downright cruel and senseless he could be. She's not saying she condones what Rockstar did to him, but she understands it. There were times growing up when she really wanted to hurt Zayden, but he's her baby brother. She had a habit of letting that stuff go, which is probably the reason why he acts the way he acts now. In some ways, it's her fault for him turning out like that. But to wrap things up, no, Shanna did not hate her sister-in-law. At the very least, Dexter, her, and Jasper are happy. Maybe this is exactly what Zayden needed to get his act together. Rock Hard was relieved to hear that Shanna didn't hate her. She loved Shanna dearly and didn't know what she'd do without her. Now, since that was out of the way, rest and relaxation did have a favor to ask her. Rusty Pipe knows that her and Zayden are done forever. He will never forgive her for what she's done. And frankly, she doesn't want him to. There is no future with him. However, she knows that there is a future with Dexter. She does love and care for Dexter. He is the father of her child. He has proven over and over again, despite what she's put him through, that he genuinely cares about her and wants to be with her. She wants to give the two of them being together a chance. But she is unsure if she can really give her heart to him when she 
still feels something for Zayden. She was wondering if Shanna knows of any potion or spell that can help her stop feeling like this. Ever since she was a teenager, she truly believed he was her soulmate. Shanna gleamed at the word soulmate. If she really felt that way about Zayden, then Royal Wedding would be happy to know that there is a potion to get rid of all feelings for your soulmate once and for all. She doesn't know how to make it, but she was sure she could buy it from the magic realm. Rampage was ecstatic. Shanna agreed to help her fall out of love with Zayden. She couldn't thank her enough, but luckily, she was interrupted by her big sister Autumn, asking for her own favor from Shanna. Autumn, right in front of Razorblade. Who cares? You're grown. A bit too grown. I would say, Renegotiate couldn't be more excited. She was finally going to open her heart to Dexter and close it off to Zayden for good. She was ready to be free from Zayden Kibo forever.